Today we're going to talk about using the matrix calculator on Desmos. So first go to desmos.com and then instead of clicking the graphing calculator button, we'll go up to the top and click math tools and then click matrix calculator. So once we get here, we could create a new matrix by clicking the new matrix button. So we could go ahead and make a matrix called A. And you could change the rows and the columns by clicking the plus and minus buttons down here. And then uh, we'll just type in the numbers that we are given for any given equation or problem here. So once we get that, we could press enter and it saves A. Uh, we can also maybe make two more to go over these examples. So after we've made our matrices, we could um, find different things with it. So first let's do the reduced row echelon form to find the solution to a linear system. So let's find the reduced row echelon form of matrix B. To do this, we press the RREF button on here and then type B and then enter. Notice we have decimals. We could change those decimals to fractions by clicking this button that says convert to fraction. Or we could change it back to decimals. So from this, uh, for example, one here with the reduced row echelon form, we can find that uh, x will equal negative 1 13th and y is 23 over 13, which you can also write in this decimal form. Let's look at the next example here. We're finding the determinant of a matrix to determine if a linear system is independent, not zero, or dependent, it equals zero. To do this, so we go to the calculator, press DET, and then A, enter. Our determinant is 72. That means that it is linearly independent. Okay, let's look at the next one, inverse matrices. Uh, using row operations to move a matrix to the other side of an equation. So we'll do that with matrix A. To do this, we first press A and then uh, A to the negative 1 power button and press enter. So we have decimals, we could change it to fractions, whichever one is called for in the problem. For the next one we have matrix operations, adding and subtracting matrices with the same dimensions and multiplying by scalars. So let's try adding uh, the matrix B plus the matrix C. In our Desmos calculator, we write B plus C and then enter. And it gives us our sum. And let's try the other example, 3B minus C. So we'll multiply by the scalar for the B matrix by 3 multiply each element by 3 and then we're going to subtract C so multiply each of the C elements by negative 1. Okay so we'll go ahead and type this into the calculator we have 3 times B minus C enter and that is your simplified form right here your simplified matrix Okay, for the next one, we're going to multiply two matrices, and to do that, we have to have the same, they have to have dimensions M by N and N by P, where the first matrix column is the same as the second matrix rows. So first, let's try A times B. On the Desmos matrix calculator, we'll type that in, A times B. Enter. Notice you have uh, a symbol right here for error. You can't multiply matrices with incompatible dimensions. 
the uh, matrix A's columns is not the same thing as matrix B's rows. That's why you can't do that one. But now if we have B times A, you can get a solution here. From that, you could conclude that A times B, B times A are not always the same thing, so that means that matrices are not commutative. And then for the last example, we'll do a, a transposition for matrix A. We switch the rows and the columns. So the transpose of A, to find that, we type in A and then A to T. So that is the transpose, the transposition of the matrix A. Notice that all the rows and the columns are swapped. The rows was um, 1, 4, 7, and for the transposition, the column, the first column is 1, 4, 7.